Cavalry ready to run around and slay. And now, it feels like Team Liquid ID, they have good strong lineup to either engage or disengage. You have the high loss with the Guardians, uh, with, with the Glorious Pathway. Can really just pop that in the Rebellion Esports. The question is, will Matt pick up the carry or not? Kaja, Kaja. Yeah, that's going to be a carry. Yeah, should be. Yep. <laughs> I've oh, wait, no, that's not wrong. Yeah, that, okay, it, it is. is. Yeah. I was about to say, because that would be weird if it's not the carry. Yeah, sure. They will go for the Kaja carry. And finally, man, we get to see an, a, a glimpse of the old Rebellion. This was used to be Audi on the Kaja. Now we see X-Win on the Kaja, but at least now it's not the Akai. That's great in neutral objectives and horrible in the proactive game. You have to highlight, though, that for a Rebellion, they're severely lacking in the frontline department. Kaja isn't really the tankiest of heroes. That's true. And the Edith. Kind of is a half tank, half damage dealer. The, the mid lane kind of evens it out, but in the end of the day, if we're going to rely on King Matt to output the damage, they're going to be... They have to be very careful with who gets selected to try to, uh, to, try to receive the initial collision. Because with the uh, Glorious Pathway, Team Liquid, they're going to be stomping all over Rebellion. Yeah, last pick. Will it be a gold oh, or a jungle? Begins. Wait, and that wait, will be, gold. be the ruby picked up. And this means that... Yeah, the Roger will go in the hands of Aaron Shiki. So that is going no, to be a Ruby Roger jungle. jungle. Roger Jungle, Ruby Gold. Yeah, Roger Jungle, is Ruby it? Gold. Yeah. We saw a bit of a shop early, uh, earlier. There's no way that's it's not. That's true, that's true. Yep. Where else will the Ruby go? Okay, so Ruby Gold, Aaron Shiki, we haven't seen him play that much of a flex pick. You know, it's usually the the most conventional marksman uh, heroes he usually plays, but not the Ruby. Yep. That's going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. And the lineup rating agrees with us. Team Liquid having more of an advantage. If you look at it, there's a vengeance on Aran and the Phobias as well. Survivability and controllability have been so important in, in securing a lot of these neutral objectives. And Team Liquid has Rebellion beat on both. Pickoff is the only game that Rebellion has right here. And to their credit, they have a lot of ways to isolate members of Team Liquid. But they don't have a lot of ways to stop Team Liquid's whole team from coming right behind them. Save your swords and raise your banners. The war cries are echoed as the cavalry charges forth. Will they be able to take down the poles? It is Rebellion Esports against Team Liquid ID. The cavalry versus the rebellion. Center stage is the usurper taking on the king, M-A-T-T, -T, and Flavor Fave. See how Flavor Fave performs on the Roger. Not really as flashy as some of the assassins, but in this meta, I feel like it's still very threatening for sure. Swaylo already chunked down to half HP actually. That's quite interesting. Showing again the aggressiveness of the Vexana in these situations. But the Litho gonna fall to the hands of Rebellion. Boy, it's already a small win, but a flicker already expended in the mid lane there. Looking at the Emblems by Indy Home, Wilderness Blessing for the Fovias and the Vexana. So Aran and Yeheskiel are playing that wrong game. Everyone else is all focusing on survivability. And Iron Shiki on the Ruby in particular goes for the Festival of Blood. So when it comes down to it, when it comes to sustaining in the lane, Matt can't really do much. Even though he has the tenacity and the firmness, he can survive from a big burst, but he can only regen coming in from that quantum charge. Yeah, Iron Shiki goes for the Ooh. sustain, but X-Win. Forced to flicker out. No flickers for the dual mid Oof. in the first minute of the game. This is tremendous for the cavalry. That's expensive. X-Win having to pop the flicker, so did Sway Low. And the turtle fight will probably happen sooner or later, so that is two spells, crucial ones, blown away by Rebellion Esports. Bottom lane, a bit of a skirmish Ooh. though, you can see there. The carry and the Ruby going at it. Matt's actually walking up with a lead. Aaron Shiki went for a fight in the middle of the wave, trying to make sure that he swings uh, the, the trade in his balance with the region he gets from the, la the lane so far. But now, look at this, Jeheskyo in very close quarters. Let's have the Eternal Guard just pull back again. The Lantern Flare is there. X win zoned away by Witty. Both teams unable to really contest for the neutral objectives just yet, as Aran only now has gotten level 4. Mm. Turtle just ping ponged around in the pit. Oh, Witty! They're on with the rotation, with the revitalized. Oh, that's I'm offended into the eternal guard. Sway low, no flicker. Aaron walking forward, Crimson Peak, and then the Lantern player bring Aaron back. Able to dash away, and that is a free turtle to TLID. Great play by Team Liquid to zone Rebellion out, using the Hylos, using the Ruby, sending it up from the gold lane, using that early game prior to its full benefit. Man, Team Liquid calculated as always. 
And for Rebellion, they're trying to find ways to make X-Win work, but before level 4, not a lot of threat. And now even at level 4, Witty can bully him out, man. Not a lot of heroes can shred down this high loss, and the carry at 3 minutes in the game is not that big of a threat just yet. Yeah, this Roger as well for Fabian as a debut pick. And now, of course, talent Ooh, predictions by wow. the application go pay. Everyone is picking Team Look at ID unanimous with the Indonesian desk. I think this is the first time this season that we have a full unanimous decision. Usually Papulung is there somewhere, Lim Kochul is there even. Now we're on the same page. This usually doesn't, um, you know, look too good for the team that we predict, but <laughs> right. hopefully, hopefully that doesn't <laughs> impact the game. That's true. Fabian has the win talker. This might speed up his, uh, speeds up his farming, uh, farming patterns and also maybe that damage needed in the skirmishes later on. I can't help but feel like the game is relatively slow right here. Both teams are playing it very carefully until a neutral objective is up. And I must say, if that's the situation, it's kind of favors Team Liquid, but look at this. Or Shatter Flicker with the onward cards. You're able to find that around nowhere to run. Even with the Vengeance, you can't tank up that much damage. Cars, first blood. The timing though, after the predictions are rolled out, Iran gives away first blood. Well, <laughs> it is what it is. But for now though, we can see Fabian is in the area to soak up the gold and EXP. So not all is lost, but Iran on the Phobias, that is not a situation you want to be in to lose out on multiple EXP cards in that laning situation. Cars will be having a bit of an edge, but can he use that to leverage enough? As you can see here in the mid lane, we're back to setting up for the Turtle. Rebellion were able to get a pick off, but that's before the Turtle was even in the picture. That's true. And now, of course, Aaron Shiki just having a good time down bottom against Matt. You have so much sustain with the Ruby, you know, and that kit and then a Witty. Already in Turtle Pit, looking to Zone out the players of Rebellion Esports, but Aran comes close. Cards might look for an engage. No. Turtle still ping ponged by both teams. I see in the bottom teams. Right. We're just setting it up. Man, it gets reset. Both teams really don't want not wanting to be the first team to really make a move on it. And Team Liquid are using this uh, small few moments to go for wave clear opportunities. That's way low. This is where the solution really excels when both teams want to just sit around and not really commit onto something big. Really. They're on it, Witty, with the charge forward. So you look at him stunned up, and now Aran gets a demonic force proc, forcing the Crimson Beacon. Aaron Chiki already rotating in. Good terrify and eternal guard. Fabian wins out the retreat battle because of that. I'm offended with the Toro. Oh, he stops up the glorious pathway for Witty to go for the charge, but TLID no better than to overcommit. They go straight back to their lanes. See Fabian waiting in the wings, but that was a great. Play from your Heskiel, CC, Lock, and Ryota right before the neutral objective is available. With that performance, though, you can see again Rebellion. The moment the Glorious wow. Pathway gets popped, the Revitalize gets used, they don't really have enough damage to really be a, a real threat. Later on, Ryota can snowball, can still do a lot of damage with the Shadow oh. Kill, but is that enough? It can't really shred down everyone. It's going to be very limited. Mm -hmm. And now, of course, back to square one. It's even and the kills department, but again, Team Look at ID, they are able to win on the macro game. Bottom side turret down, and then they get the turtles as well, two of them <laughs> so far. As we take a look at the builds, anything in particular, Rashi? Mana boots for Sway low right there, so wanting to get more mana back from shoving the waves, maybe feeling the pressure from the Vexana push, because sometimes Sushins would go for something a bit more defensive, especially in a game like this with a diving Phobias, a diving. Uh, Roger as well in the hands of Fabian. Sometimes you would go for a more defensive boot choice, but Sway Low wants that mana. He knows that he needs every single bit of mana possible when they're trying to lift someone up. Uh-oh. Glorious Pathway. But Lantern Flare, but Witty, he just going for a good Crimson Beacon from Sway Low. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, I don't know if you guys saw that, but Ryota just lost out in the trade completely against Aaron Shiki. Oh, the hunter becomes the hunted. Ryota not able to showcase his Hayabusa prowess, because again, this is one of his strongest picks. And so far, it's it was all first just picked. It, it was first picked as well. It's all nullified by Team Look at ID's adaptive pick. And assassins aren't really supposed to win against fighters technically, especially not when they're not snowballing. 2k gold lead and X win. You can see he's always scouted out as Sway Low. Takes so much damage, man. The Vexana threat with the passive on the minions as well. Team Liquid will get this turtle without contest. Oh, it's a three out of three now. And it doesn't seem like fun and games at this point. 
if you lose out on all three turtle contests. Two out of them so free for Team Liquid ID as Favian might look to take down this turret alongside Aran just shadowing him from behind. Now concealed play by Matt. They can't kill Aaron. There's no way oh! I'm offended. It's gonna terrify. He tried to take Aaron Chicky down, but Aaron's the one who took them down. Matt was forced to flicker or purify rather. Cars with a flicker forward in the earth shadow. Now the final round, but Aaron Chicky just locks him down and it gets turned around again. Witty stomps on his corpse as he's unconscious. Oh! Yeah, has kill with the Terrify and the Cursed Blast. What an absolute disaster for Rebellion. They tried to go for a pickup. They played patient for so long, they wanted something, anything. And Team Liquid completely dashed their hopes on the rocks. They lost two towers, they lost multiple members. They are now 6,000 gold behind, and they're about to lose their orange buff. The prioritized first pick for Rebellion completely shut down. Yeah, this is just rubbing salt to the wound. And of course, MPL ID Extremer. It is, of course, a Team Liquid ID, Laura. Shout out to Laura. Shout out. Let's yeah. see if she actually realizes that she is on here. Usually it takes a bit of time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We might actually see a TLID play forward before she realizes. <laughs> but hey, TLID, they know. They know Laura's being featured, so they're not going to go for engagements. Nope. Not just yet. And the reaction isn't here just yet. And <laughs> Laura, really oblivious to the fight, uh, finally go. giving us a bit of an emote. Where's Yaoi? Where is Yaoi? <laughs> is that the right person? I don't think so. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but Team Liquid having all the control, though, you're seeing that it looks like these waves are kind of left to their own devices. But even in the bottom side, it meets near the turret. So it allows Team Liquid's turret to push it out, actually. So after gathering all the attention to the top side, now immediate rotation to the Lord. And with this little positioning, Team Liquid can just go for it. Nothing stopping them. Oh, out winning out. Yeah, they're outclassed. Out outplayed, basically. Out macroed. Imagine three neutral objectives uncontested by Rebellion Esports. When you have the winning lane in Kaja and, and carry the combo as well that you pick up. It's insanity when Team Liquid ID can walk away unscathed with three or even four objectives. This is scary, man. This is what makes TLID such, an, uh, such a scary force, such a scary team in Season 14. They are so intelligent. Their macro game is amazing. Looking at the items though, King Matt finally now has a three item power spike, can definitely shred down some of these frontline members. But, you know, Rebellion has to find a right, the right fight to do so first. Nope. And looking at Iron Shiki, he has the War Axe, he has the Hunter Strike as well as the Queen's Wing. So a lot of utility, a lot of sustainability. And look at Axe Win, man, blew it away from the frontlines. Uh, I can't do anything. And now, with the Lord in hand, ushering it towards the top side, Team Look at ID might look for a siege. But no, they get the turret oh, passive, afraid. and that is going to be a valuable resource for them. Yeah, look at the way that they're using these waves, right? In the bottom lane, they pushed it in, and now they're gonna have to uh, use another wave. Witty gets brought back, and the Divine Judgment too, but Witty just goes for the Vitalize. He gets slain, but that's gonna be a base turret. Deal ID, no problem taking that trade. Aaron Chicky with a move forward. That is a base turret with the first Lord, and it's only traded for Witty. That is value. That is so worth it for Deal ID. Absolutely still a value play from Team Liquid. And this is why it's just so crazy. Even earlier, they were willing to let go of the tower on the top side. They could have saved it from the minions, but they left it. In, because they know the Lord is coming, he's gonna push it out. And they were using the time to go into the jungle of Rebellion instead and pressure. Their understanding of control around the map here is just so, so good. Rebellion can use this Lantern Flare to really scout out, but... Swaylo has to be careful, man. He oversteps a bit too much. He gets bursted down. There's 7k gold behind. If Yeheskel and Fabian go on the same target together, that's too much of a mix of magical and physical. Any kind of... Anyone but Cars, I believe, can be shredded down. And even Cars himself isn't exactly safe. And he is so behind that he has opted to go without the Thunderbelt. He went straight for the Radiant Armor with the Dominance Ice, and now he's going for a Dreadnought Armor. He wants to be the main frontline, recognizing that x win can't assist him in that department. Yeah, and we haven't even seen, you know, a single play off coming in from Rebellion Esports, using the Divine Judgment to just pull back Glorious Pathway. Oh, Ooh, Sway Low. cut off Sway Low, has a Crimson Beacon, goes in for Lantern Flare, and TLID knows to respect this. They have a wave in the mid lane, though. That's going to be 
A bit of damage back onto that base turret as they wait patiently for the next Lord to spawn. That's so scary though, the movement speed from the Glorious Pathway and oh, then yeah. you have a wolf just running, <laughs> trying to eat you in the face. So Arr. scary from Team Liquid ID. Now a Witty picking up the Dreadnought as well. Gonna be difficult for him to get shredded down. It's really just the carry, but I feel like with the Ruby already picked up for Aaron as well, the idea is not really to sustain through the damage, it's to deny any kind of damage coming in from the carry. But look at Aswin! That's a flicker of Divine Judgment with the Crimson Beacon now and onward to lock Aaron Shiki down, but he still finds the Venom on the Aswin Escapian! Deals with the back of Ran! He's just having a field day on this Fovius again, TLID! are just so much further ahead. They are two, three, four steps ahead of Rebellion. Outclassing the Bulls, and the Bulls with no hordes this time. Losing the Lord, and they might lose this turn as oh! well! Well, I'm offended. Aeron Shiki getting the Terrify down. Yeah, has skill. Locking cars down. Aeron's still able to space away Ooh. from Matt. And he gets out with the backup of the team, and they get a base turret without utilizing the Enhanced Lord. It is still marching down towards Rebellion's base. What a monster play by Iron Man. Coming in, getting a three-man, I'm offended. Iron and then right man. there, he kited back, he got stuck on the wall, and instead of going outside and risk getting taken out by the fade away, the, the stars coming in from Matt, he goes sideways and gets a skill onto the minions to get, get, to get that much more sustainability. Now Team Liquid with the Lord, they can go for an end right here, but do they want to risk it? Can Rebellion threaten enough? Uh oh. Glorious Pathway, Karn's trying to disengage from the team, gets caught by the I'm Offended, can't even use the Primal Wrath, it was on cooldown still! Baby will like it, bounce, that's one, that's two! Good for the nature from Matt, but it will not save the base from the Cavalry Charge. The Cavalry Charge and strike first, as the Bulls lose their horns, raging no more. The ones raging are the Cavalry. 1-0, oh, Team of a Good ID, strike first. Man, that was a crazy performance from Team Liquid, man. Every 